Hi guys, it's JG here with Earth 5D back with another pick a card reading. How are you all doing today? I hope the answer is wonderful. And if the answer is not wonderful, I hope that this message helps you. I'm glad that you're here. Thank you so much for being here, guys. So we're gonna ask um, the question here, what is the future of this connection? Okay, what's the future of this connection? And this can be any connection, no matter, you know, it's a love reading, but it's gonna be like, you know, wherever, whatever stage you are in the connection. It could be brand new, it could be someone you haven't even met before. But if it is someone that you have in mind, you know, just focus on your person and we can pick our pile. So we're asking again, what is the future of this connection, this love connection? You could have been married for, you could already be married, whatever your situation. We're looking into the future, which is always fun. They're my favorite readings because I love it because the future is not here yet. So we're still creating it. So we have this, um, this is a river rock that I pulled out of a river in California. And gosh, I can't remember the name of that river, but it was in Northern California. So a special one for me. This is from a shell. This is a shell from down the street over in the Atlantic Ocean. Thought that was beautiful. And this is the amethyst that my daughter found. So all these stones today have significance and shells. <laughs> so one, two, and three guys, pick your pile and I will wait and give you a few minutes. What is the future of this connection? Okay, so right at two minutes, we're gonna start with pile one. So if you jump right to the timestamps, welcome pile one people. So glad that you are here for a reading. We're asking the question, what is the future of our connection? What is the future of this love connection? And we'll take a look. Oh yes, the Tamil Pious River. It's a funny name, isn't it? The Tamil Pious River. Okay. Some of you I'm sure live near there. Okay, so we have Don't Dim to fit in. I'm actually gonna move this way over here because it's a big, big honking rock. <laughs> okay, we have Star Mother. How can you mother yourself? We have the seven of wands. We have engagement. I'm missing an E. It's probably late at night when I did that. Or early in the morning. <laughs> Actually, let's turn it like that. Okay, now I have a special card here and this is a secret tip for the future. So I'm not gonna, I'll pull that out at the very end. Every pile has that King of Cups. Ace of Swords. High Priestess. That didn't come out in the reverse. It's just that my I was holding my hand down in an awkward way. So we have a whole lot of divine feminine energy coming through with the star mother and the high priestess. So I'm going to put the major arcana. If any more come out up here, because these are the ma major themes of the connection. We have seven of pentacles. Knight of cups. We see the progression from the knight to the king. So that's interesting. We have the nine of wands. We had seven of wands too, right? Yeah. And we have six of cups. So it feels like a soulmate energy. Okay, guys. Well, I mean, the universe kind of gave it away right away <laughs> with the engagement. So this is, lead this is leading you towards a, a divine connection and you're the divine feminine. 
So this is a connection with your, your soulmate. This is my card for soulmate. So there's a good chance that you feel a lot of nostalgia for this person and nostalgia in the sense of also, um, I'm sorry, I'm like slow to, <laughs> moving slow, thinking a little bit. It's like kind of a peaceful, easy day today where I am. And so I just feel really chill. So hopefully you need this chill energy yourself. It's probably coming from you guys. So I do feel like this is a chill kind of a card. And I feel like this is about receiving the fruits of your labor and defending this connection that you know from lifetime after lifetime ago. So this is a, a, a person that you've traveled through time and space with is what I'm channeling. And so we don't want you to, the universe is saying, we don't want you to dim to fit in. We want you to shine brightly with this connection. And we want you to know the universe is saying that, spirit saying that your person is maturing and they have love for you. So your person is evolving from the Knight of Cups to the King of Cups. And so that's what the Divine Masculine is doing. And the Divine Feminine, just reverse it if, um, just reverse it to fit your situation. So with the High Priestess, this is the Divine Feminine and the Star Mother card. This is about the Divine Feminine nurturing herself and getting turned, lit, turned on and lit up psychically. So if you chose Pile 1, the future of this connection is leading to mental clarity for your person and for yourself that this is something that you want to defend and make a deep commitment with with the engagement so the engagement is symbolic in terms of you don't have to take it literally it's symbolic as as making a deep commitment but for many of you like 90 percent, this is leading to engagement if you chose pile one so this is about the universe is telling you that this is something that you will you will um receive guidance and protection on through your angels and this is something that the universe knows that you've worked hard to cultivate with the seven of pentacles and the seven of wands this is something that you're learning is worth defending and worth protecting so the universe is here to help you do that just know that the angels are there to keep this keep this connection um protected so the Six of Cups is giving me this sweet feeling, this energy of, of like really playful energy. And so this is where the future of your connection is going to like a playful energy where you're able to shine and you're able to nurture each other. We were able to psychically connect to the feminine side of consciousness and bring a softness and sweetness here. There's a lot of cups, right? The King, the Knight, and the Six of Cups. Nice balanced energy actually across the board. The only, the only sword, right, is this Ace of Sword, which to me is a new beginning of mental clarity. So the mental clarity, I believe, is happening right currently. So this is that all your hard work is going to get rewarded, okay? And that all of this hard work that you're putting in is coming back to you in terms of an engagement, commitment, deep commitment, pile one. So you can feel confident in yourself with the Seven of Wands here. Yeah. So claim your power, claim your personal power, and don't dim to fit in. You don't have to be small in this connection. The person wants you to shine, and it's good when you shine. It's it's needed in the connection. I feel like that seven of wands is about. It's reminding you that if there is conflict, I'm just channeling this. If there is some conflict going on where you feel defensive. Or you feel like you need to defend the connection then trust yourself you know then defend it defend it and uh be in your power because you're the leader here the feminine energy is the leadership in pile one and your person's evolving in their heart space this is consciousness awakening in the heart space here is what i'm channeling so pile one there's a lot to celebrate i feel like this is a very chill relaxed energy for pile one so allow yourself to receive this if you haven't yet. So this is mental, you know, hold space for this for your future. If this is, if you're driving with this and, and wanting this deep commitment. So let me get you the secret tip card here. Let's see what we got. So six of pentacles. So this is about 
equal give and take. So make sure that you're allowing yourself to receive. I, it's good to show up and, and, and give, but also remember that your person wants to give to you as well. So the universe is asking you or telling you, asking you to give and receive equally. And, but don't forget to receive. Okay, Violet one. So that's what I'm feeling for you today. Beautiful energy here. Yeah, so your person's maturing and evolving and you are going to re reap the rewards of all the labor that you put into this. This is about seeds well planted that, um, that come out beautifully, a garden that's groomed beautifully and and you're going to have like this really expansive six of cups energy where you're just really comfortable with the person and and um it's this nice smooth energy okay guys so let's get some charms okay So some of you might feel like you're, you know, rolling the dice with this thing, with this connection, but just know that the outcome is, is good. Obviously it's, it's a deep commitment and a loving energy here, guys. So you are the divine masculine and feminine. You already know that, um, but you're doing really well partnering up together here with Branch and Poppy showing you that. So we have an O, X's and O's. That's so cute. Hugs and kisses. Yeah, guys, some of you, this is so funny. For my Jewish friends or anyone who likes lox, that's hilarious. <laughs> lox is smoked salmon, guys, that you usually eat on a bagel with cream cheese. If you're from another part of the world, or actually the Scandinavian, a lot of people eat smoked salmon, but this is, um, it's funny, lox. So lox and bagels, which is actually used to be my favorite meal. I used to have it on my birthday. <laughs> Now I just can't get enough salads. Um, all right, so there's there's still, this is yet to be written. So this is the future. The future can be changed, but this is, this is where things are pointing right now, guys. This is where you guys are heading. So take what resonates with the U, X, L, and O. This I'm really reading as X's and O's, which are hugs and kisses, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, take the dates here. You guys are awesome at figuring numbers out. The thing that stands out the most right now is um, March, March 26th and 27th, March 12th. So March 12th is just this week. Um, this is a timeless reading though, so whenever you get here is when you get here. So there's a lot of magic happening. This is my holiday magic um, charm. So there's a lot, a lot happening here, pile one. So thank you so much for dropping by. And if you need insight into your own specific situation, because everyone's so different here, then let me know. You can look down below for my information for a private reading. If you like this, guys, then like it. And if you haven't made, become part of the 5D family, we would love to have you here. Hanging out in those 5D energies. Enjoying that 5D lifestyle, guys. All right. Lots of love. Drop a comment below, guys. Bye for now, pile one. Ooby KB, on to pile two. Pile two, welcome, welcome. Glad you all are here. If you chose the shell, this is your reading. If you just skip right to your timestamp. We're asking the question, what is the future of this connection and love? What is the future of this connection? Let us find out. Okay, we're starting out with share your voice. Come out of the cave, persecution, and expression. So, oh, it looks like you guys are going to share some nice communication. Priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? So, I feel like, yes, this is about you sharing your voice and having the opportunity to do that in this connection. To be a leader in the connection, quite, quite literally. So this is a the temperance card, a win-win solution. So this is the, it's a major arcana. And in this particular deck, this is the guardian angel deck by Bradley Valentine. Not to be confused with the angel deck, it's different guardian angel this is. So with temperance here, this is, this is depicting the divine feminine 
and um, the divine masculine being blended together uh, to manifest this connection and divine union on the earth. This is a symbolic card for me that indicates that. So that's what I'm feeling. You guys develop a win-win connection in your union. So whereas that's um, your, your divine feminine power is able to come through and help to harmonize this energy. So again, we have a, we have, this is the moon in the traditional tarot. So the divine feminine is having a big impact on these unions and the future of them. So surprise, surprise, right? So that it's, it's quite um, symbolic though of, of the effort that you put in. So universe is saying the future of this is that you share your voice and you lead this connection and you're going to get that 3D union. Uh, the, the, uh, you're going to get that union in your current reality. So this is about uh, everyone's intuition being heightened. You and your person, the divine masculine and feminine, their intuition being heightened so that there's an understanding of what's going on here. Something bigger than yourselves. So it looks like with the seven of thought that someone wasn't able to see this. I'm certain it was the divine masculine in this case um, because of all the feminine energy here. So over time, you're going to be able to wake each other up and see. Yeah. So what this says is, and I agree with the, this interpretation for this pile, you've been confused about a situation in your life and now suddenly everything is completely clear to you. Okay. So that's what's going to happen in the future is that everyone's going to have clarity here by sharing your voice, and by taking leadership, Divine Feminine, the, everyone's intuition is heightened. And the reason why I say everyone is because it feels like you, your person, and everyone in your light family is like behind this. So everyone in this group, in other words, and whoever is choosing this energy of pile two. So this is a, a temperance, a blending of the, the masculine and feminine on the earth straight away. So there's justice being brought to this connection. So if you came here wondering, do we have a future? Yes. And justice is very significant. So this is about fairness. This is about fairness. So in order, you know, why would you need fairness if something wasn't, something had to kind of go wrong to bring fairness to this, right? So um, for some of you, you're coming here wondering, like, um, is this, is, are things going to straighten themselves out? Am I going to get my justice? And the answer is yes. Okay. So with the Queen of Cups, you know, again, your leadership abilities, right? Being loving, the Divine Feminine leading, being that High Priestess, sharing your voice, sharing love, sharing your intuition and insights, holding that space for you guys is going to make your person, you know, ground this energy with you at the King of Pentacles. So you're showing up in a nice balanced way and your person is responding by making a commitment and taking this seriously. So it's really nice. Okay, so we also have the Two of Cups. So this is your union coming together and getting clarity where there used to be none, you know, or, or little. I don't know why I said none, I just channeled that. So. For a lot of you, maybe there was just very little clarity here and you've been struggling with that. But the Two of Cups is here to show your union. And I don't want to show that one. So I have a secret tip card for you. Every, every pile gets it. So this is the love of a lifetime. So this person adores you. Person you had in your, in your heart when you chose this pile. So yeah, guys. If you, if currently you're in a stage where you're feeling like left out and you're feeling like out of right, literally out in the cold with this connection, it's changing. So share your voice. You're not going to be out in the cold anymore. I feel like this is directly speaking to the divine masculine who's feeling out in the cold and justice is here. As we see the transition from the five of pentacles to the, the king so this is a this is your king like showing up as the king you know not as a page or as a knight 
So you're getting your justice here, Divine Feminine, by using your intuition. And the universe is backing you up with the temperance. The, the angels are here to bring you guys together. To So what, what, what people were denying, they're now embracing. So this is a love of a lifetime. So hold space for you guys and, and hold space for the Divine Feminine to be able to to take a leadership role here to get this justice, okay? So your tip is the Four of Swords. So your tip is to allow time for meditation and quiet between the two of you. Allow times of, allow periods of quietness and, and allow days to go by without, you know, being on top of each other energetically. You know what I mean by that? Allow this to breathe by just taking your time, allowing alone time into the connection and then allowing it to breathe and allowing it to kind of sit quietly for, for periods of time. That's going to help. Okay, guys? So beautiful. That's what I see for you, Pile 2, the future of your connection. So let's dig into some charms. Okay. Where are they headed? Uh, ooh, that was a, um, a blue charm, which is my symbol for a throat chakra awakening. So, you know, speak your voice is a huge part of this. Okay, so if you had a lifetime after a lifetime of being persecuted, you know, for sharing your voice, you might be afraid to do that, but it's something you must do. It's something you're going to do. Okay, so we already see this is the future. So allow yourself to start now. This is a deepening of communication with that blue chakra, blue throat energy, you know? Allow yourself to speak. Even my jaw is tightening, like, allow yourself to speak, woman. So we got double threes here. So this is the ascension energy. So this is about ascending that you already know. So if you felt shy or removed or like something's not going right here, just know that oh, we have another throat chakra. So this is about you speaking up right now. Don't wait to start speaking up. We have a V for victory or take what resonates with that, guys. For some reason, March 27th is a big day for everyone because that came up in the first first um, pile as well. Also March 23rd, March 13th, okay? So a lot of these numbers came up in the first reading, so those are significant. This is a timeless reading, so if you come here in another month, just apply those, those dates. So this is about having a lifelong um, partnership and really deepening, really having like this family tree, this deepening of energy. It's about um, building a family tree, like having a family together, you know? Building a lineage. Mm -hmm. Having a lineage. And that's what reminds me of the King of Pentacles. So you're, you already know your person, but they're, the way they're being shown right now is that, you know, they're very grounded and very like kind of stubborn, right? So you, they need this, they need this intuitive awakening to happen. So continue to hold that space for this future. Okay, pile two. So if you need help with your own situation, since everyone's situation is so uniquely different, you can hit me up for a private reading. That information is down below. If you like this, guys, make sure you like it. And if you haven't been, been part of the 5D family yet, we'd love to have you here. Make sure you drop a comment below and let us know how you interpreted this reading for you. Your person totally adores you. And this is the love of a lifetime, so it's very beautiful. This is the current trajectory, okay, Pile 2? Thanks so much for coming by, and we'll see you in the next reading. Alrighty, your future is pile three. Let's let's take a look. Let us take a look. All right. It's so cute. My family came in. <laughs> My son's girlfriend stopped by. She's such a sweetheart. I don't think she knew I was making a video. Okay, pile three peeps. So happy you're here, guys. Let's see. Let's take a look into the future of your of your love connection.
Let's check out what the universe is telling us today about the future of your connection. Okay, guys? So we have answered the call. What is your soul calling you to do? So either you or you both are, are coming um, to have an understanding and an awareness and an awakening that there's something here. This is a soul calling. So that is what you, that's what the future holds that you're, you're actually involved in something your soul is calling you to do in this relationship. So this is my twin flame energy card. So this is two people mirroring each other. So this is uh, awakening the portal of your heart. So this is a very spiritual reading. If you chose pile three, this is about the power of having a spiritual partner in your life to partner up for life with. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing here is the future is you're answering your soul's calling, both of you. So this is about journeying together in Rama. This is the Celtic word for, I'm sorry, Gaelic word, right? Gaelic is the, you'll have to clarify guys, my peeps from Ireland. Um, and it's about the travels of your soul is from my understanding. And so this is, this is a journey. So there's two cards here that are talking about, you know, where are you being called to journey to and what is your soul calling you to do? All right, pile three, let me just hit that home one more time. What is your soul calling you to do and where are you being called to journey? So you are answering a calling, pile three. This is something that you cannot, the universe is suggesting strongly that you don't resist because you got it twice. And you, we're seeing the twin flame card. So in order to have this outcome, to answer your soul calling, then you have to answer your soul calling, okay? And that's a, that's having a divine counterpart and a divine union and with the twin flame energy. Take it resonates with that word, you know? So with organization, this is the emperor. So your person is God, logic, gogic. <laughs> your person is very logical and, and takes a leadership role here, the divine, divine masculine. So take what resonates in terms of um, who you're here getting a reading for. You can just flip it around to the Empress. But this is your special person, the divine masculine, standing in that divine masculine power. So this is the strength card. So this is the divine feminine. This is a symbol, another symbol of divine union. And it's just so funny how the 11 is here. It stands up, I don't know why it's so prominent in this deck, but I just noticed that. So we have that 11 energy, and that is in the traditional tarot, how the girl in the white dress is, t is taming the lion. In this case, it's a little cat. <laughs> um, you know, she has that affinity symbol above her head, and all of you know that that's, if you're a uh, regular on the channel, and that's like, symbol for me of the divine feminine holding this connection in her energy field of a, that infinite union so with go within this is the uh, manifestation card so this is the uh magician no i'm sorry whoa no that would be one so this is do 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 what is this card oh yeah 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 this is the high priestess in this deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, well, that makes a lot of sense. So this, look at you guys, you're so matching. Um, look at how your emperor is matching. So this is the emperor matching the high priestess with the strength card. So it's just so much saying that you guys are gonna come into divine union. So. You're going within Divine Feminine and you are using your inner strength to empower the Divine Masculine to be the Emperor. So the Emperor has already decided that they want to be with you. So this is the Emperor and the Empress coming into union in a very well-matched situation. Everyone's in their power. Everyone's in their power. So there's a new mental clarity here. That's where the future is going. You understand each other. You understand the connection with the Ace of Thought. So it's a, you guys get a new beginning together where everyone, you know, everyone understands that this is a divine union. Yeah. So you get the idea. 
basically you get the idea that this is what's that what's happening so you get to know each other on a whole new level here and as a divine in a divine union um so you might not have uncovered that yet currently but this this is what the future holds for your connection is that your person's in the emperor and you're in the high priestess energy because you held that you held that um knowing of that infinite connection that you guys both share during this reading my the universe is really softening my energy so if i'm talking a little slower or like i don't know it's just a very gentle energy that was supposed to come through so i usually deliver the readings based on the energy that's well, always flowing through me and it's not always the same so this one is um like a really gentle energy and so i feel like i'm actually talking slower I'm like, let's get this out. Let's get this out. But I feel like my mouth isn't quicksand. So interesting, right? Okay, wow, double strength card. That's so cool. Yeah, there's some tension here, you know, in my jaw. And I know that's because you guys are tense. You probably hold your stress in your jaw. So double strength here. So, you know, dig into your reserves divine feminine because this is coming into union okay that's the future of this so you know you're going to get a lot of passion together you're going to have really nice passionate communication about mental you know with mental clarity around your your connected connectedness so if you've been feeling stuck in the mud maybe that's why i can't speak very because you're feeling like blindfolded and tired you know so you're feeling really stuck but you realize with mental clarity here that this is just, you cut the swords of these chain, you know, you cut the swords of those imaginary ropes here. So if you've been, you know, we know that this eight, most most of y'all know that the, the, ace, the eight of swords is about imaginarily being stuck, right? Because she can just open herself up right there and take the blindfold off herself. We can see how loosely she's tied. All she'd have to do is like wiggle out and stretch herself out and she's she's out, right? So put in a little extra effort to wiggle yourself out of these limitations that you have going on because the double strength card is, both strength cards are here to, to indicate, you know, your divine union and that you have the strength to do it. So take, use, like quite literally use mental clarity to cut yourself out. And so that's what's happening. You're going to use mental clarity to cut yourself out of these, of these um, bondage. And, you know, you're going to get like this grounded new beginning with this connection, with this divine union. So it's a, it's a solid opportunity for new newness and, and sharing a lot of love and passion. Okay. So we also have the nine of wands. So this is something that you're going to want to defend. We see the progression from the eight to the nine of wands. So this is something you want to defend, okay? You want to protect it, not be restrained. I mean, this is, this is totally being vulnerable. That is not protecting. <laughs> so that is the opposite. So you might be feeling a little um, bloodied in the battle of being a twin flame and you might be feeling that might be a dramatic statement for a lot of you but you know like your spirit's a little down but you know he's got the he's been beat up a little bit but this kind of reminds me too of like if she just slid that up it would be like a bandage <laughs> you know or like looks you know so you know what I'm saying so it's it's like a feeling of 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 not looking at the limitation don't look at the limitation you see around you don't you know and and defend it because there's there's like a lot of passion to be had here so you eventually you do you cut your you cut yourself loose with mental clarity and you get a new beginning so you you answer a soul calling essentially and you live your you live your higher purpose with your person so that's what i see as your future pile three it's very very beautiful so with the go within i feel like that's directly related to 
getting mental clarity. I feel like you have to, you have to take time for quiet and reflect on this because that's how you're going to be able to hear your heart. So this is, this is going to happen through prayer. So some of you might not believe in prayer. I think most of you do on this channel because you wouldn't be resonating with me, you know, cause I absolutely believe. And I, I feel like prayer, we call it prayer. And sometimes it gets a bad rap because of organized religion, right? But to me, prayer is directly, it's intending and it's asking for help from our higher self on the other side. It's knowing that it's having the humility and understanding that we have different parts of ourselves that we can rely on that aren't ego bound, you know? So that's the way I see it, guys. So go within and ask for, ask for divine help from your higher self, which is still you. It's just a higher consciousness of you. So that you can answer this call and step into this calling because that's where I see you guys heading. I see you really enjoying this and, and yeah, and really having this beautiful journey together. This twin flame journey. I'm just trying to feel like if there's anything else. So I did pick a secret tip card. Each each pile got one. So your secret tip for this connection is is the world card. Okay, so you want to make sure that you embrace the fullness of this. So with card 21 being the last card in the whole major arcana, right? This is about you having the world with your person and just being each other's world. So you're going to make each other uh, your world for sure. So it's having like that ultimate happiness, right? The judgment, you know, you got your second chance. You already moved through the judgment. You moved through the sun. I mean, you moved through all of the cards. You moved through all the other cards. You moved through all of these, right? All the way to the end to have the world with your person. So the secret tip is to keep that in mind. Keep that keep that in your mind to get that mental clarity, to unst unstuck yourself, divine feminine. Okay, or divine masculine, depending on who you are watching for, right? All right, guys, so let's get some charms. So... If you're feeling some stress in your jaw, like some of you are, like really loosen up your jaw. And like, I would even do some exercises. Make sure you're going within. Make sure you're speaking your truth. Make sure you realize how, how strong you are. Divine feminine for if you chose pile three. Okay, so your divine masculine is getting in their power here with the emperor. They definitely are. So that's good. So you answer the call too. So we have a why. I feel like that's for a yes. They just, this is really blooming, guys. This is really blossoming. There's little apple blossoms the way I'm reading this, the apple inside the blossom. So this is like really flowering and um, really ripe for the picking, this relationship. So we have 11 11s all over the place. So this is your, you know, take it, take it as it is, right? There's a D. D and a Y. DIY. Do it yourself. Do it yourself, ladies. All right, this person might have been in the military. Um, and just know, like, the strength card, that's an inner conviction. It's not like, don't get caught up in how in the hell this is going to happen. Because we don't know how it's going to happen. That is the part that the universe figures out. So that's the part your higher self has to work, work on for you. Don't try to mentally figure out how you're going to get this to happen because you, you if you already knew how to do it you already would have done it you need the higher understanding and higher orchestration right so yes so this is buttoned up i mean you guys are going to be together you're going to share your worlds together so there's you know stand in your wear that crown it's not too heavy you're going to have a house together 11 11 Yeah, use those numbers. And so did I mention, yeah, some of you, the person is literally in the military is what I'm, this time is the way I'm reading that, feeling that. And, or they were in the military or they have some kind of job uh, protecting the country, protect. So they, they also want to protect you. They do a good job that way. And that's why they're the emperor. All right, pile three, that, that's very lovely. Very lovely. So I wouldn't stress about it. Let, let's let it happen. Let it happen. Go within. That's an action that you could do. 
go within and answer the call. I mean, it's, this is about an inner knowing, you know, going within and saying yes. We really devalue that, but it's, a, it's imperative to go within and choose something because if you choose nothing or you choose anxiety, that's what's going to happen, you know. All you'll get is more of that. So we have to continue to choose. And what some of you might say, because I've seen in the comments, like, well, my person's not choosing me. But they are going to. <laughs> so they are going to. So it's like you're building your future right now in the present moment. Remember, it happens now. So guys, if, if you need help with this, my information is down below. Feel free to book a reading with me. The directions on how to do that are below. Also, drop a comment. We'd love to hear how this uh, impacted you, Pile 3. I'm so, I want to thank you for being here. Just very thrilled to have you. And yeah, if you want to become part of the 5D family and really experience a lot more 5D energy, my daughter's singing. <laughs> then we'd love to have you. I think she's in the 5D right now having a good old time. Kids are able to do that, aren't they? All right, lots of love to you, Pile 3. We'll catch you in the next reading, guys. Bye for now.